Hey guys, today I'm going to explain the stocks to you. So the drive stock and on the other side that you can't see right now, the uh, blinker stock slash the windshield wiper fluid stock. So if you're interested, stay tuned. So I'm going to start with the drive stock first. So first thing you want to do is when you sit in the car, the driver's seat actually has a sensor. So the car knows, you know, that it's ready to be driven. So if you've, you know, sat in the car for a little while or whatever, if you notice, if you just have a passenger in the passenger seat over there, um, basically if they're in the car for about five minutes with nobody in the driver's seat, the screen actually turns off. So because of that sensor, the, you know, my screen should be on unless I don't move or do anything for, I believe it's 20 minutes, then the screen will shut off. It kind of goes into like a sleep mode. So there's the uh, seat sensor. And basically what you want to do is when you're ready to actually drive the car, if you push the brake pedal down, you'll notice all these lights come on. And so basically that lets you know that your phone key or your key is communicating with the car and that the car is ready to be put in drive or whatever, you know, reverse, wherever you want to go, basically. So with my foot on the brake here, if we push the stock all the way down, it'll basically put the car into drive. So now it's on hold, so I can actually let off the brake pedal if I want to, if you have that hold setting on there. And so right now I'm in drive, ready to go. I can just go if I want to. And so that's by pushing the stock all the way down. Now, if you push the stock all the way up, you'll notice it goes into reverse. So reverse and drive are the two functions that you normally want to use. And so if you were to, you know, want to put it in neutral for some reason, so see it's neutral up here, um, you know, maybe you want to roll down a hill or something. What you can do is from reverse, you'd want to push the stock down once, but lightly instead of like super hard. So it's kind of like a half push down instead of a full push down. So if we do that, you notice it goes into neutral and that's how you do that. So now if I want to put it into drive, do a double click down and it puts it into drive. And then same thing, if I do, if I do reverse here, all the way up, double click, and it goes into reverse. So you can do that from drive as well. So I put it into drive here. If I do a half tick up lightly, it puts it into neutral. So that's how you get from drive to neutral, reverse to neutral, is you can do a half click to get it in a neutral and then of course an up or a down click to uh, an up a full up or a full down click to get it into reverse or drive a couple of other tricks with the drive stock is if you're going under one mile an hour you're going to have to hold the brake pedal to actually get the car to shift into gear so that's a heads up another thing that's pretty cool with the model threes and and teslas in general are if you're driving and you're moving back and forth here um, if you're going under five miles an hour, you can actually, you don't have to worry about the car, you know, getting locked up in a gear. You can actually just flip it to the reverse or drive and it'll just automatically do it and kind of just roll back and then roll forward. So under five mi miles an hour, you can do that. So I'll just demo it again. So two miles an hour, let off, go reverse, and it'll just roll right into reverse. So five miles, five miles an hour, you can do that. It's just a cool little trick. I do this all the time going into my garage when I make my three point turn uh, to back into my garage. I'll you know drive up, roll back and then hit it in reverse and then roll up the driveway. So just a little trick for you. If you wanna do cruise control, basically if you're in drive, all you need to do is push the stock all the way down again. And so you can only do cruise control when your mileage is at 18 miles an hour or faster. So keep that in mind that if you know, you're going under that and you push this down, it's not gonna do anything. So 18 miles an hour or faster and you can use cruise control. If you have autopilot, basically you're gonna do the same thing. I believe it's 18 miles an hour or faster. Um, say you're on the freeway or whatever and you wanna in, in, engage autopilot, you almost do the same thing as cruise control, but you basically push it down twice fast. So it'd be like, like that. And then you can engage autopilot. So that's how you do cruise control and autopilot when you're driving around using your stock. And then of course, if you wanna put it back into park, all you need to do is push the button in here and the car goes back into park and then you can you know, be on your way and go to wherever you're going. So now I'm gonna explain the left stock. So as you can see, the windshield wiper is on this side, your signal left and right, and on the top here, 
On the top here is the uh, high beam. A little bit hard to see, but that's where the high beam is. So if we start with the arrows, you know, your standard car in the US is gonna have your arrow signals on this left stock here. So if you double click it up once, that's going to signal you right. Pretty standard. And basically, if you, uh, if you do it all the way, if I can get this focused, if you double click it down, it'll signal to the left. So right now I'm signaled to the left, and I think in the standard car in the US, the way you can get rid of the arrows, so basically it's, you're not signaling at all, is you do it the opposite direction. So since I'm signaling the left right now, if I tap it one click up to the right, it turns the signal off. So now as you can see on the screen, I'm not signaling. So one trick for the Model 3 specifically, and Model Y, and probably Teslas in general, is I'll double click up, so now I'm signaling right. And so instead of going down, well, let's do one down. So one down and basically that turns your signal off just like the reverse I did for the left signal. But if I signal right again, so double click up, what you can do is you can actually do it up as well. So if you do one click up, it turns the signal off as well. So that's one little trick for the, for our Teslas is basically you can <clears throat> you can pretty much uh, get rid of the signal either way one click down or one click up. So now if we try and go over the wiper fluid here, so as you can see it says push in once to wipe, and if you push in again it'll squirt the fluid. So if we push this in once, you notice the windshield wipers go. And so when you push it, let me get this focus in. When you push it once it'll actually bring this screen up as well on your on your uh, MCU. And so basically what you can do is, you know, control it from there as well, but it's a little bit easier if you're actually driving to push the stock, that way you don't have to look at the screen. So to bring it back up, it's this button here, and you just push it. So right now it's on auto, as you can see, and you can see the blue outline. The blue outline means it's ready to go or it's on, basically. Actually, it means it's on. So... <clears throat> What you can do too is you can push this here and it'll just go at that slow pace and then two, three, and four, obviously a little bit faster pace. So I'm gonna turn it back on auto and then turn it off for now. Um, but that's how you do that. So to get the uh, fluid to go, when you have the windshield wipers on auto or on, so you've pressed it once and the windshield wipers are going, if you press it again, it'll squirt fluid out and then it'll wipe once to basically get rid of the fluid. Now, if you are going to, if you, you know, your windshield is really dirty or something and you need more fluid than that, you can push and hold the uh, stock here and you can do that for as long as you want and it'll keep spraying fluid out until you let go of the stock. Once you let go of the stock, it'll wipe the window three more times and then stop. So that's the drive stock and the aero stock slash windshield wiper fluid stock explained. Hope you, thought, hope you thought the video was helpful. If you did, don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.